The year is 2024, but here we are once again playing Skyrim. This time, we're experiencing the end of the world. Say hello to the zombie apocalypse, as I have mounted over 1,000 mods to the game to simulate a true survival horror apocalypse and get an undead outbreak sweeping through the lands. This, of course, massively increases the difficulty of the base game. This means that instead of easily defeating level 1 bandits, I will instead rapidly learn the true meaning meaning of hubris, which would be a first for a British person like myself. After all, we've never lost a war! <laughs> Probably. To make matters worse, all of the game's exploits have been fixed and the world will only get more uninhabitable before the end. It is impossible for me to win, so my goal is to see if I can survive just seven days. Our hero today is the wonderful Sir Digby. He is a Breton wizard with ears that increase in size every time someone likes this video. So do you think the lovely Digby can survive in this nightmare for seven days? Go into the comment section and let me know. Let's dive on in. We begin on day zero, before the outbreak has started, where our beloved hero has arrived at the Windhelm docks. All we have is a little bit of food, a few coins, and a giant spear. We're not exactly equipped to survive a Swindon nightclub, let alone the end of the world. We enter the city and get an earful of local Nord racism, and I discover that I can't afford to sleep at the tavern because I'm so poor so instead I just squat inside a stranger's house. What a lovely way to start the apocalypse. We wake up on the first day and the apocalypse has begun. It will start slow with minor patrols of undead and maybe the occasional raid on small villages, but by the end of the week cities will be under siege. To prepare for this eventuality I wanted to pick up the mage stone near Riverwood, so that meant I legged it onto a carriage and spent almost all of our gold to travel to Whiterun. The risk we face is mostly level 1 wolves and bandits, but in this mod pack they can be deadly. But I've made my way over, but the weather is still not much better. It's a little bit chilly. That's okay though. But my current first plan is very simple. I'm going to make my way over to the Stones of Power, as they should be able to give me a nice upgrade. And I also think Riverwood is quite a safe area. Generally level 1 bandits nearby. Oh my god, that's a bloody saber cat! Run! That thing could one hit me. Why is there a saber cat here? Oh my goodness. Vault, get over the fence. Get over the fence. Run! There is a saber cat! Oh my goodness. Uh, it has 310 health. Okay, Okay, thankfully it's distracted on the carriage, which it can't do anything against, so yeah, we're just leaving. At least I know my magic works, uh, but still, hardly any damage done to that thing, and I don't want to be around when it comes back. So over to the little village we go. I want to get those stones of power, as they could be very useful indeed. Now I'm able to see that with the Draugnarok beginning, that they've begun to attack small settlements, which means the settlement I'm headed towards will most likely be under attack by the time I get there. Here's the little town. Doesn't look like there's any undead around. Let's go find myself those stones of power. They're not too far away, and after that we might be able to clear out some bandits. And trust me, the sooner we can deal with the bandits, the better. Yeah, the village is looking safe. It doesn't have any guards, but it is peaceful. Yeah, there's a wolf. I can see- Oh my goodness, there's three of them. Okay, that's actually quite a lot. Right, cast my lightning. Whoop, there's one on me. Run! Jump, good dodge, good dodge. Right, let's pull out my spear. I can do this. I might not be the best. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of damage. Stab him, stab him. Oh, we did it. Okay, okay. Uh, pull out my lightning again. You are not getting me. I refuse to die. Sir Digby has too much to live for. <laughs> oh my, jump, Mr. Wolfykins. Lightning is actually pretty powerful. It appears to bounce from wolf to wolf. Okay, this lightning makes more sense now. We're actually not the weakest tool in the shed, it would seem. Ah, oh, here we go. The standing stone's perfect. All right, I want to pick up uh, the Mage Stone. This is a good idea. Well, bam, we now have the Mage Stone Blessing, which in base Skyrim just means you train magic faster. In this version, what do we get? 50% increased magicka and our spells can be cast for 10% less. There we go, that's much better. Unfortunately, in this rainy weather, we have a weakness to shock. Oh, wait, that's also going to be affecting all of the enemies we fight. That's why my lightning was so effective on the wolves. Oh my goodness, in rainy weather, the Lightning King reigns supreme. Oh, this is good. Okay, suddenly I don't feel so scared about Ember Shard Mine. There's one bandit up here, but I mean, one bandit against me? It doesn't feel good to kill humans in the zombie apocalypse, but, you know, some of us need to survive. Bandit Berserker? Okay, 75 life is quite a lot, but my lightning is even better! Yes, now that's more like it. Reinforced fur armor? That's much better than my current stuff. Some maces that I could probably sell. Okay, right, we'll grab all of these. Yes, my armor is now massively improved. 
improved and we're looking slightly better. More resistant to the elements in the very least. Okay, let's make our way back to the village. Where is everyone in this village? Don't like how quiet it is. Okay, we've still got someone. Hello, Land the Green. Not all bad. Okay, I just got my first level up off though. That's actually really good. Although my health is, is unfortunately not looking too great. Oh, I need to level up first before I get my perk. I forget. In order to level up, I actually need to sleep. Let's see if the inn wants to do some business. I will say it's quite nice that on our first day, we didn't run into a single undead. Okay, fantastic. Renting a room here only costs 10 gold for the night. So, um, we'll do that. There's nothing else really going on at the moment. And there's a storm raging outside. So let's have a sleep. All right, we'll rest up until tomorrow. All in all, I'd say a successful first day in the world. Not too much going on. But I want to get an earlier start. So we're going to wake up at about 5 a.m. Oh, and yes, I need to level up. Let's grab some more stamina, as that's our weakest stat. And sink a perk into conjuration. Ah, splendid. Nice and early in the morning. But the early bird catches the worm. Now, my food supply is getting relatively low but this bread loaf should do nicely. There we go. All right, out into Skyrim we go. Once again, I just need to survive. I don't exactly need to fight the undead invasion. I mean, they're going to win eventually, right? So yes, I think this day I'm going to make my way to a very simple bandit camp that I know is nearby. All right, up the hill we go. The air is very cold here, but if it's cold for me, it's cold for the bandits. All right, let's summon myself a lovely little wolf. Hello, you. There we go. Bandit champion. Jeez, you've got a lot of health, friend. Unfortunately, I think I should be able to still defeat you. Yes, there we go. My wolfie is onto you. And you would rather attack him than me. Blended. Right. Zappy time. We did it. Great. Quick. Now is the time. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo, that's a dodge. Run away. Run away. Okay. My wolf is on the archers. All I have to do is keep this one bandit busy. Wolf. No. Oh, oh my goodness. Run, 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 run. Okay. You are bad. But wolfie is here. Right. There we go. You attack from the front. I've got the back. Zap, 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 zap. We did it. Oh my goodness. Right. We can steal a lot of this equipment. That's going to be useful. A lot of this can be sold for good money. Let's make our way up here. Just a bunch of rotten food, unfortunately. Nothing to actually help me survive. But a chest up here is still a chest. With some money and some potions. I can claim Bleak Falls Tower. You know, I can claim it for the Falkreath Hold. If I'm lucky, I think that means them, some guards will spawn here in the next few days to defend the place. Uh, which way is the way to Helgen? Uh, which way is the way to Helgen? Let me bring up my map. Oh wait, yes, my map doesn't actually tell me where I am or where anything is. It's like a real map. I'm so used to the Skyrim cheat map. Ah, oh, here we go, a sign. Just Helgen this way. Okay, I'm guessing it's the more well-trodden path. Right, okay, I've made my way to Helgen. A lovely safe spot. It's always good seeing Imperial walls. Uh, but still, the uh, weather has gone quite mental indeed. So let's try and find someone who's willing to buy my gubbins. Right, okay, I think I found an Argonian who's willing to buy anything. So, hello, uh, what have you got for sale? Okay, you've got a little bit of everything. Jeez, that's a lot of nonsense. How would you like all of the clothes I'm not using? It should hopefully make us a little bit of cash. Okay, 200. 72 gold. Yeah, I think I'm gonna hold off on spending any money until I get back to Riverwood. Yeah, weather's getting bad, so it's back down we go to the town. Is there something wrong with Whiterun? I swear I just saw weird clouds going over it. Oh, okay, there is something wrong with Whiterun. The champions are out here fighting something. What is this? Oh, it's a Draugr. Okay, it's level one. They've actually dealt with it pretty easily. Okay, this is our first foray with the undead. Not too challenging. Just a couple of boys easily defeated. Draugr invading large cities and droves. What? That just popped up. No, 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 no. Okay, into white room we go. Uh, this could be bad. This could be very bad. I mean, these folks seem okay. Potentially the insides are safe. Okay, there's running. There's running. There's undead. There's undead somewhere. Uh, quick, let me conjure my wolf. Where are we seeing them? Okay, there's a couple up there. They're dealt with easily. Good job. Okay, there's a Draugr. Whoa, good job. That guard got him. I can zap you. No, 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 no. You ain't winning this time. Yeah, I think that's a success though. Oh, geez, there's undead in front of me. Okay, um, run back. Whoa. Okay, up, 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 go. I think one of them was high level as well. Yeah, there's a level six. That's very bad. Okay, White Run does not seem safe at all with the undead uh, buggering around. Uh, so I'm going to try and hire my way out of here. Uh, Falkreath might be a good idea. Yeah, if anything, we should hopefully have a good standing with them. We liberated a tower. Right, okay, Falkreath looking pretty okay. What was that noise? I just heard a shout. Um, there's some running. There's some running going on. There's the undead in the middle of town. Oh my goodness, they are murdering people. Oh my gosh. I can't fast travel out of this. Run, run. Can the guards even handle this? How many undead are there? Um, quick, let me get my spear out. Okay, I can assist this guard. No, I can't. Can I even do anything? This is gonna be chaos. Quick, run around the back. Okay, if we can just work on the edges. Let me get my wolf up. He can assist in the very least. Oh my good, good job, guard. Right, quick bit of lightning in the middle of that. Some chain lightning should do good. Oh dear, I don't want to grab their aggro. Okay, you're just level one. I can deal with you. There we go, you're dead. Come on, we can try and hold this. How many guards are even left? There's 
one behind you. Sir, watch out, sir. There's multiple behind you. There's a bloody frost at your neck. Oh my god. I think there are no guards left. Where are the guards? Where are the guards? Run. Okay, we can't deal with this. Falkreef is lost. Are there any guards remaining? Okay, we can get onto the hillside above the town. Oh my god. Falkreef is much larger than it used to be. There's, um, that's where the palace is actually located. But look at the center of the town. This isn't an apocalypse. This is a bloody massacre. This is, the town is just dead. What can I even do? There's nothing I can do to assist here. Every living being, all of the guards defeated. You can still see one human running around there. Another stood up. There's nothing we can do for these people. Oh my goodness, there's a level. Oh my, there's a dragon right on me. Quick, summon, 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 summon. There's a level, what? There was a level 20 Draugr Scourge over there. Run. Why are they all on me? Run, run, <laughs> oh my lord. And quick, off the hill we go. Uh, we need a horse and we need to bolt it. Pony friend, I think it's for the best that we are out of here. I'm not too sure what the best way out is, but you are fast and I am going to be furious. Uh, where am I on the map? I have no idea. Um, there's a mill off in the northern direction and I guess north is this way-ish. Oh gosh, I hope I'm going in the right direction. I have no idea. But any way away from civilized areas is probably for the best. There's the mill with vampires living in it, but honestly, I think it's okay. I mean, the vampires are quite likely to Keep us covered. There's, there's Draugr in front of me. There's a straight up roving band of Draugr. Run, run, flank. Oh my goodness. Look at how many there are. Run, horsey, run. Run, 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 run. run. We got to get around him. We have to get around. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> one arrow. That's almost all my health gone. Run, 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 run. Oh my god. God, that was so many of them. Yeah, this looks fine. This looks fine. Okay, yeah, the mill is definitely safe for the moment. I'm getting out of here. Oh no, what did her just say? Oh no, that probably means combat. Right, I'm gonna quickly build myself a campsite, just in a, you know, relatively discreet location. Yeah, this place seems good. It's where I can, I can actually rest up and- oh my. Okay, yeah, I was right. The, uh, the Draugr are attacking. Luckily for me, uh, vampires, slightly more resistant, I think. At least I really hope so. I don't know what her life is looking like, but- Okay, no, she's running away. That's not a good sign. Ooh, there's an arrow just went past my head. Have I got any health potions? Yes, I do. Quick chug. Beans, quick, quick, quick. Wolf, can you get any attack? off before you just get murdered. Yes, he's gone for the archer at the back. That's actually really good. At the very least, I can use him to break contact, but I don't want to lose my campsite. I can't pick up my campsite in the middle of combat. Okay, one Draugr dead. There's another one here. All right, I've got you. Wolfie got the other. The wolf is still alive. Where's vampire friend? Oh, dear vampire friend's dead. Okay, they're over there fighting a rabbit. This is good sign. This is not exactly a high priority target. Okay, there's two of them left. Okay, we might do this. Okay, quick, 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 quick. No, 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 no. You do not get to have a swing on me. Luckily, Luckily, lightning is effective. Oh, good job, Sir Digby. Who knew being a wizard in the zombie apocalypse might be useful? All right, well, I don't have much choice. I'm gonna just have a quick tactical nap for one hour, and in that time, I get to level up. Um, so let's quickly sink some points into magic. Oh, I get to level up twice. Okay, I guess extra points into stamina. And again, health? Okay. Cool, we get some improvements. Let's grab summon creatures last 50% longer. Eventually, we can get armor of shadows so that our summon creatures are harder to kill and have magic resistance. As the sun rises on day three, I reflected on the prior day's events. The attack on White Run and the collapse of Falkreef. It was utter living chaos. It also reminded me of Americans buying TVs on Black Friday. Phew, what a dangerous environment. I honestly had no idea where we're safe on the map or where to go, so I just set off into the wilderness and hoped that I could survive. If we're lucky, Whiterun hasn't fallen yet. What time is it? Okay, it's coming up to 10 a.m., which I think is when the shops open. Into Bellafor's general goods. He's a safe one. Bellafor, I do actually need some assistance, friend. I need to sell you some of my gubbins. Please take this amethyst. Take this gold ring. There we go. I don't need that. Garnet ring. Hey, thank you. That's 600 gold. So that's not bad. It's not the best, but I'm hoping it might be enough to buy me a new conjuration spell. I'm gonna make my way up to the yard palace and have a chat with his court wizard. Into Dragon's Reach we go. Hey, Farangar, what do you got for sale? Have you got some cool spells for me? Uh, spell term of bound stuff? Conjure Flame Atronach? Spectral Dire Wolf? You know what? If we can summon a Flame Atronach, that might actually be really good. It also might cause some chaos. I think the Dire Wolf might be better, though. 421 points. Because the problem with the Flame Atronach is it does magical damage. Right, so I picked up a new spell. Now, normally in Skyrim you can just click this and you learn it, but no, for us we have to spend nine hours studying it. And there we go. After nine hours 
hours of study. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I can now summon a new wolf. Okay, it's chilly. It's getting dark. 9 p.m. But hey, a new spell is mine. I can hear fighting. Oh my goodness, there's another Draugr invasion going on. Right, spectral direwolf away you go. It should be more powerful than before. There's another undead there. You have 300 health. Oh, bugger. This is not good. Luckily, because the AI's improved, they can actually use potions. Unluckily, though, Draugr is still incredibly dangerous. My direwolf is able to take a much greater beating. Good stuff. Oh, and it's not over yet. There's even more of them. Oh, there's one right there. Hello, you. Luckily, I think I can just electrocute you away. Whoa, good job, Sir Digby. Glorious battle mage. We can handle the level one zombies nicely. Everything else is a little bit more challenging. Uh, I don't think Bellafor's general good shop is going to be open. Hey, Bellafor. Um, do you have anything you need help with? Okay, Bellafor has given me a quest to go hunt down some bandits. I mean, now's not really the best time for it, but sure, why not? Fortunately, I need somewhere to rest, and I know that sleeping inside the inn costs several hundred gold, and we just can't afford that. So, instead, I'm going to be a bit cheeky and steal a guard's bed for the night. Let's go to outside White Run. How's the outside looking? Yep, outside's looking nice and safe. Right, we should be good to have a quick nap in this bed and wait until the weather's improved. There we go. Nice new day. Feel rested. And I don't think there's any undead outside. Wonderful. Okay, apparently my mission is to go kill the leader of Red Aran's retreat, which is not too far away. If we can do that and then head back, Bellafor will give us extra money, as well as giving us an opportunity to drop off our trade goods. Yeah, let's go slay a bandit leader in the middle of the zombie apocalypse. Look, everyone needs a civilizing force, and the Brits are always happy to provide. Okay, the weather's actually clear today. I get the feeling that this is a very good sign. We might even have a day where the undead don't want to get some revenge. Remember correctly, Redoran's retreat is off to the right from here, and kind of skirting around the outside of the fort. Oh, and of course it's starting to rain. Whoa! Oh, okay. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I almost jumped into you. Level 13. Um, Luckily, I think my, my good friend here should have you dealt with. Okay, he can do a little bit of damage. That's a good start. I can also do some. There we go. Yeah, electricity, my friend. It's not fun. And there we go. We've done it. Oh, we've done it together. Well done, Mr. Wolfiekins. Splendid. Just one undead wandering around by himself. I mean, it's, it's odd, but it's not impossible. And I think this is the correct place I meant to go. Redoran's retreat discovered. Well, we'll see if we can even deal with it. If it seems too dangerous, we are leaving swiftly because I need to survive seven days and stepping on a floor trap could kill me. All right, here we go. Nice and carefully. Don't want to set anything off. Can hear some enemies. Quickly summon a new wolf. All right, our wolf friend should be able to go and deal with them. Okay, there's a dog over there, level six. Yeah, our wolf's nailed that. There's also a human behind it, but luckily they can detect my wolf. They haven't spotted me yet. And it archer level one. Should have this. Good job, Wolf. Great job. Okay, I have no idea what's at the end of this cave, but I imagine it's not fun. Luckily, it's narrow, which means I can probably use my wolf to block the path of enemies. Yeah, there we go. There's a bandit champion ahead. Uh, luckily, my wolf should be able to deal with that. And I've leveled up. Uh, I'm just going to listen to the noises from afar, and if my summon disappears, he's getting resummoned. Bandit champion's going down. My wolf doesn't sound... Okay, wolf got dropped. Summon a new one. Let's go. Conjuration is up to 30. Okay, good. Now that it's up to 30, we can sink in a point into uh, armor of shadows summon creatures gain armor there we go 150 armor is really good as well <laughs> oh my goodness it's a level 10 bandit chief four he's not bad run 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 back run back run back quick summon 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 there we go he can't get past my summon and he can get knocked down by it and now it has 150 armor good luck getting through yes this is it good job wolfikins you did it. Oh, we can now tell Bellafor the good news. Oh, a bear trap in front of a chest. A nice try. Iron War Axe of Fear. Bad and a treasure map and an amethyst. I think back out we go now. Good success. Bellafor should be able to give us a nice prize and also buy all of our gubbins off of us. Oh, back out into Skyrim I go and I, you know what? I don't feel too bad. The undead are definitely rough, but I am no easy target. Right, okay, into White Room we go. You know what? The people here are doing a pretty surprisingly good job of uh, weathering the storm. A decent amount of the White Run City inhabitants are dead, but you know, that's okay. All right, I guess let's go try and find Bellafor's general goods. And to Bellafor's general goods we go. Let's tell him the good news. Hey, Bellafor, my friend. I've dealt with those bandits. 100 gold. Um, I mean, that's not the best, Bellafor. I've got to be honest. I was expecting something a little bit more impressive. But still, I can sell you my nonsense. There we go. Success. I think we should go for a quick sleep and then make our way over to Riverwood. See if the people over there need our help. Okay, Riverwood's looking safe. So Digby is pleasantly surprised by that, considering the scale of the invasion going on elsewhere. One of the first places I thought would fall would be here, but yeah, I guess they have a couple of village guards, maybe some kind of small militia. What's going on here? Why are you, why are you panicking? Do you see something? Why on earth is she 
you running? Oh wait, hang on a second, there's a dragon right there. I was just sitting down. Come on, up, 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 up. That's just one though. Woo, he shot an arrow at me. That's not nice. Oh wait, am I flying? I am flying. Nice. Thanks, Todd, for this supreme ability. Um, I would like it if I was no longer flying though. Well, this isn't good at all. I'm currently stuck in the ground and there is a ongoing invasion, actually. Wait, that's that's fixed it. Okay, level up available. I've just been shot by an arrow though. Ow, 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 ow. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Okay, I need to heal up. Having half my life taken away is not good. The villagers can defend themselves for a little bit at least. What's going on over here? Is it Alvor fighting them? Alvor, you should be able to fight a single undead. That shouldn't be too bad. Oh, they're right there. Right, there we go. Cast my magic on him. Yeah, you run away, you. Yeah, you don't like magic. Okay, run, 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 run. Hello there, other innocent civilians of the town. Any assistance right now would be moderately useful. You there? Yes, yes, the green. There we go. Okay, you've got a knife. Yeah, you're doing great. Use that dagger of yours. Yeah, you've got it. He's down to 30 life. No problem. Okay, you, you haven't quite got it. Is that dragger attacking a child? It is. I don't think it can kill a child, though. I swear children are immortal in this game. So that's okay. He's a great distraction. There you go. You chase that boy. Hey, it's all good. Alvor, it's fine. The child's distracting him. At least I hope children can't die. That's going to be embarrassing. Where is the restless dragger off to? He was chasing the boy. Oh, there he is. Right, I can defeat him. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you back off, you back off. There we go, he's dead. He's dead. We did it. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Not too bad at all. Citizens of Riverwood, we have survived a little bit of the apocalypse with minimal casualties. Right, okay. Um, it is getting pretty dark here in Riverwood, but luckily I don't see any undead problems at all. I'm gonna make my way back to Whiterun. I think I want to head over to maybe somewhere like Morphal or a different area, somewhere in Skyrim that I don't often see. And we're definitely not going back to Falkreath for whatever happens, because that place, uh, yeah, that place is gone for good. So I checked on Morphal and it's seemed relatively safe and uh, then I got this notification. Dragnarok is upon us. This is how the world ends. The capitals are under direct attack. Everywhere nobles, commoners, guards and farmers alike lie dead in the streets. This is very bad. It's too fast for an organized defense, too numerous to be held back. The mighty legions of the Draugr are likely to storm all over Skyrim. This means doom is upon us. Now, I've quickly left Morphal behind because they are not going to be able to last at all, so I'm going to make my way over to Solitude. My reasoning is simple. Solitude holds the Imperial Garrison. That is a huge supplement of military forces. Surely if anyone's going to be able to survive, it's going to be them. Oh, I just heard some Draugr. That's not a good sign. It's never a good sign. We're not too far from the village of Dragon's Bridge. And I'm just hearing Draugr shout in the distance, endlessly shouting Fusrodar. There's Dragon Bridge. Lovely. Oh my goodness, there's an attack happening right here in front of us. Look at that shout! All right, well, let's see what we can do. We might be able to stop this. There's forces here. We can at least assist. You will not hit my wolf. Oh, jeez, I've just been shot. Quick heal, quick heal, quick heal, quick heal, quick heal. There's a shot in the back of my head. Dragon's Bridge, not looking safe. Look at them. Loads of them. I think they know I'm over here, actually, as well. That's not a good sign. Dragon's Bridge might be lost. Potentially, I could run my way through. I don't think that's something I'm likely to survive. All right, well, it's cold. It's raining. But there is a pathway to cross here. Oh, and there's, of course, a bandit. Great. Run, run, run. Ow, 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 ow. Come on, please don't follow me. Please don't follow me. Or if you do, stand in water. Why don't you? Yeah, see how I care about it. Please die. Please die. Please. Oh. <laughs> that was close. Right, quick bit of healing. Okay, there we go. And uh, we've got our wolf spell out. That's an archer right there. Run, 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 run. Get out of his way. Go, he can't reach us up here. Oh, there's my wolf. Okay. If I can summon my wolf in front of me, he can deal with the archer. There we go. Yes. Archer's distracted. We've got him now. There we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, I think this is the lumber mill down here. So yeah, lumber mill looks fine. It's up to the main entrance of solitude we go. Come on, Sir Digby. We can do this. We've survived for so long. Look, it's the city's walls. Safety and sanctuary. Yep, this is looking... Oh, no, it's not looking good. It is not looking good at all. I'm hearing shouts. I'm seeing the undead. I'm watching the undead fire ice bolts at me. Please fight my lovely wolf. Okay, I've run down to the farm. Um, hello, farmers. Uh, I'm afraid my conjured wolf companion is dead. I'm gonna enter into the lower city quarter. The lower city quarter is kind of safe. We should be able to circumnavigate that first wave of the undead that we saw. Oh, I say that. There is one right in front of me. Quick, summon. Go, wolfiekins, go. Great work. Great work. Bring that up archer down. Oh, and there's another one. Oh, jeez, you're level 13. Now that's just not fair. All right, I can just keep repeatedly trying to do damage to them. It's not much, but it is something. And now the storm's setting in. Okay, we're pulling back a bit. Solitude guard, I can assist you a little bit, but even I'm low on magicka, so good luck. Just, just, just hold him for a bit until I can summon my boy. Oh no, he needs help. Oh, he's doing great. He's got a halberd. Okay, I finally have enough to summon my wolf. Go, Wolfie. Help. 
Even if you just distract, you can give the guard a chance. In fact, I can do this too. There we go. It might not be much, but even I can poke a spear. Good reach, good reach, good reach. He's down. Oh, yes, the people of Solitude standing together to defend the streets. Oh, and by the people of Solitude, I mean this guard here. No, please don't die. Please don't die. Wolfiekins, go. Oh, jeez, there's undead behind me as well. Summon the wolf up again. Coming up. Yes, the guard's back up and standing. Oh, okay, we did it. That's another one down. Guard is doing a splendid job. Okay, he just needs to heal up a bit. Okay, and come down here. These people can save me. Just need to get into the city. The city's got to be safer than out here. All right, die wolf. Let's go forward this way. We're gonna make a break for the city gates. Got one health potion left, so all I need to do is run past. Run, 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 run. Our guard's dead. There's a dragon death lord. Run! It's a bloody death lord. Oh my god. I have no health. I have no health. Drink, 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 drink. I don't want to die. 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 Oh my god. Oh, my health. Level 40? Oh, oh, my goodness. Punching my wolf again. Oh! Balls! No! No! I thought I could pick my head up and conjure my wolf. Oh, dear. Ladies and gentlemen, that is... That is one death. That is one heck of a death. Well, ladies and gentlemen, without a noble hero to defend them, and a level 40 Draugr death lord, fortunately, solitude is no more. Guards lay defeated. The front gates lay empty. A Khajiit somehow is peacefully chilling. This is the entrance to solitude. Good luck getting into the city. That is it. There are no heroes is remaining. This is the end of Skyrim, my friends. But maybe it didn't have to be this way. Maybe if I'd been stronger. Maybe if I wasn't a wizard. Maybe if I had a companion. Maybe Skyrim could be saved. But that's for another day, ladies and gentlemen. And if you want to be there to see it, then make sure to give this video a like. And hop on down into the comment section to tell me that it is what you want to see. Nowhere is safe in this world. Nowhere can save you from the Draug apocalypse. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching and as always a huge thank you to our lovely youtube members and patreons for helping fund today's video their majestic names are now on screen look at them go by as always thank you very much for watching and i'll see each and every one of you in the next one have a lovely day and goodbye for now